Hey guys, hope everybody is doing really, really well. Um, this is the uh, tool haul number six, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and we're getting close to the end now of the items what came in the box this morning. So obviously this will be a little bit further on in the week if you've seen this video. Hopefully you've seen all the other ones to see the uh, interesting stuff which came in this 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 actual uh, video. Um, I've really enjoyed um, going through these bo this box this morning. It's been wonderful and I'm very appreciative for these items. I appreciate that these items, even though you can find them in the US, they're not that easy to find and to get them in good condition or to get them in usable condition is also even not is not easy at all. Um, but I'm certainly very appreciative of these these, these items. Um, very, very cool indeed. And I'm really looking forward to hopefully doing some restorations in the future. But I've got plenty of those on me on my uh, chest to do. So don't know when I'll get around to it. Um, but so without further ado, well, let's get into today's uh, collection of tools. Um, obviously, the first one is I've been looking at these for absolutely ages. These winged screwdrivers. Now I do actually have one already somewhere, um, which I probably should get um, when I can find it. There it is. Um, I do actually have one which I got off my friend Roger. Um, which is equivalent to this one here. So I'll need to work out which one I want to keep um, possibly work out which one is the uh, in the better condition. I'm um, not too sure, but these are the ones I which came this morning. So basically, these are the winged screwdrivers. I mean, this one is super long. I mean, absolutely long, but the tip on it, which is a real shame, has been damaged, which is a real shame. But this is a, it's got like a 12 inch blade, a 12 inch blade. And then obviously at the back, it's got another five inch. So it's 17 inches long, which is a serious length of blade indeed. I mean, that's getting to some right places with that one. I mean, it feels almost like a snooker cue, doesn't it? So really, really nice. Um, very, very cool indeed. Um, and I just love these designs. Now these can f really suffer with wear from turning. I mean, one of them is absolutely worn out completely. <laughs> I mean, the life this has had must have turned some screws to wear that out like so. It's like silk or maybe somebody's polished it out. I'm not sure. And um, looks like maybe someone's polished it off to make it easier to use, which is a real shame. Um, and then obviously you've got this little guy here, which really is in need of some TLC. Um, but it, like you say, I mean, you get what you're given when it comes to rarities. Sometimes they come and they're in, you know, good shape on the handle and damaged on the end. Sometimes they're in good shape at the end and damaged on there. So, <coughs> pardon me, excuse me. So some of them, you know, they come. I mean, this one's got some holes on the damage. The tip looks in reasonable condition. So to get one what's in perfect condition after 120 years is is you're going to be struggling um i mean this one's mm, possibly in the best condition certainly that um edging's in really nice condition the tip probably could be modified back into really good condition and the handle's not in bad condition so that's probably possibly the best one of the bunch but you won't know till it's cleaned up um but really really nice indeed um and it absolutely amazes me the workmanship to fit the wood scales into it i mean it's kind of over the top really that kind of you know that kind of effort and you know for just a screwdriver but it, they've stood the test of time they're still here 120 years later they've certainly been through two world wars they've been through you know the great depression they've been through all sorts of things they've had a life put on them, that's for sure, and they're still here, so they must have, they must be well made, mustn't they? Right, so the next one is a very cool item indeed, and I wonder, just have a think, what you think that is for. Any ideas? Nope, right, well, if you want to get into a small space to undo a screw, then obviously you put your screw and then you can turn the screw in on different angles so you've got a, a vertical and a straight so you can turn the screw turn the head so this is a very very fascinating screw a uh, screwdriver indeed very very clever design um so obviously you get the let me see if i can find a, a flathead screw um is there one in here let me have a look there we go there's a screwdriver wrong size head but obviously you've got your screw 
and then obviously you can turn the screw and then obviously then you can use that side and then this side and then this side and keep going round and obviously you've got the end side as well to turn the screw so i just think that's absolutely amazing design don't you where obviously you can adjust the screw now this obviously is the wrong screw this is a small screw and this is for a bigger screw but to to, <laughs> to have that multi-tool screwdriver i think is super super clever really really love this tool i think it's amazing it's not in bad condition actually the scales could be sanded back and i'm sure they could get a nice grind on this getting nice and clean so that's really nice and then we've got the same screwdriver but without that effect we've just got the standard screw on it for turning the screw this also has had a hard life but it would make a great tin opener for opening tins of paint but not like a wood i think the scale is not in too bad condition but there's a little bit of movement there but yeah so we've got i mean i don't know if any of you guys have ever seen this before the hd smith um small access screwdriver very very cool anyway and um, the next one is not hd smith it's pexto made in the usa now it's obviously i'm not sure if it's for I'm not sure the exact use of this tool um i just it just caught my imagination with the little hook for pulling something through and the little the little almost pin punch or whatever not sure if that's the end or if something's actually been broken off the end i just thought it was kind of interesting oh here we go we've got bell system so maybe it's for repairing bell systems pulling cables not too sure but i just really thought it was super cool so we've got a bell system tool and then we've got the two of the short access and the ordinary screwdriver plus these now the others are called 660s so i'm not sure um until i do some research what these are called i just know that they are cool 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 with a capital c so um once again thanks to the anonymous uh tennessee collector who who has sent me these items um please put in the description which is your favorite item and why um i absolutely love these screwdrivers and i love these tools but i'm gonna have to go for this one <laughs> i just think it's so clever and i've never seen anything like it before ever 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 and i don't know why they don't do something like this today because i still think there's that there's the there's, there's this was smaller access than the things which are available today so i think this really should still be a tool i think personally anyway obviously though you don't really have many flathead screws these days do you it's all phillips but even still i think it's a very cool design all right thanks for watching i hope you've enjoyed this video um and there's one more to come with i think some of the absolute coolest stuff of the haul and um, it's best till last i think in in a lot of respects Right, so thanks for watching. Take care. Have a great day. Bye.